All right, I just got done spraying a large portion of my house with the Froth Pack spray foam kit. And I'm gonna go over the whole process and share a few tips and tricks that I learned along the way to make it a little easier. And as always, if you find this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. So I got the Froth Pack 200 spray foam sealant kit to uh, spray the rim joists in my crawl space. I'm also gonna spray the concrete walls. And to do that, you need the proper safety equipment. So I went and I got the uh, new respirator cartridges that are proof for organic vapor and P100 filter. I'm also gonna wear some coveralls and rubber gloves. So uh, I'll be pretty well covered up. Let's, let's get spraying. All right, we got the spray foam from the froth pack all done. Sprayed it on a little heavy in the crawl space. It didn't make it as far as I would have hoped, but I'm gonna get higher R value down here in these concrete walls, so that's a plus. I will have to go buy another pack if I wanna do any more spray foam. So this next time, in place of the 200, I'll probably buy the 650. And I did read that it will last 30 days, so you don't have to use it all at once, which is what I was kind of afraid of and why I bought the smaller pack to begin with. If you're not sure if you can use it all in 30 days, probably get the smaller kit, because otherwise you'll have a lot go to waste. All right, got the Froth Pack 620 square feet cans. And uh, I did the 250 square foot initially, and you gotta be careful when using the Froth Pack, because towards the end, uh, if you're running out of the A or the B, the foam doesn't cure right. As you can see over here, it got really brittle, and so we scraped a lot of it out. And uh, we're also gonna do, over here we opened up under the other bay window, cleaned all that out. I'm gonna spray foam under there and I'm gonna do all the box sill in the unfinished area down by my furnace. It's easier to put it on with a fan tip.
shit just keeps growing. Yeah. Keeping right. Yeah. I definitely should have used the fan tip the first time. It spreads it a lot more even. Definitely use the fan tip when using a froth pack. Okay, so I'm all done spraying with my froth pack and I thought I'd do a quick recap. All froth pack kits are a two-part polyurethane closed cell foam and they're actually class A fire rated so you don't have to cover up the foam once you're done spraying. Overall, I thought the froth pack kit was very easy to use and it gave great results. However, I don't think I would recommend trying to do a whole house yourself with a bunch of froth pack kits. I don't know how that would wash out in the end cost wise versus just hiring a spray foam company to come and do it for you. But if you're doing small areas like your rim joist in your house or under bay windows or in a crawl space like I did, I think it's well worth giving it a shot yourself and going to buy the kit and you are going to save a lot of money doing it yourself. One of the best places to purchase a froth pack kit is actually Amazon.com. I'll put a link down in the video description to the froth pack kits that I purchased. The pricing is usually comparable if not a little cheaper than retail outlets and the shipping's free. So again, if you're interested, check down in the video description for the link. And that brings me to my next point, which is the best place to use your froth pack spray foam kit. And in my opinion, the best place to use spray foam and is going to give you the biggest bang for your buck is your rim joists. This is because the air pressure in your basement is usually slightly negative because you have things like your furnace and your water heater that are continually drafting out uh, the house. So they're, they're pulling air out of the house and that creates a vacuum down in your basement which then wants to pull outside air in. And the outside air usually gets pulled in around this bottom plate and through the rim joist area. So if you use spray foam, which is not air permeable, so it's gonna block that airflow coming in, um, it's gonna really help with your energy efficiency of your house and it's gonna make it a lot more airtight. Another great spot is under bay windows, like I have right here. I have three bay windows in this house and I spray foamed under all of them. There was just fiberglass laying back in there loosely and it really wasn't doing a very good job. Um, the floors there were always a little bit colder. This spray foam should help a ton. And another great place to do spray foam insulation is your crawl space walls. This is because trying to attach, you know, fiberglass bat insulation or whatever other type of loose insulation to a concrete wall is just a little clumsy and spray foam is just a much easier, quicker application. It, uh, the closed cell spray foam is also good in, you know, like a humid, moist environment, which most crawl spaces are. So all froth pack spray foam kits are measured in a unit called board feet. And you're going to need to be able to calculate how many board feet you have in your house that you want to cover with spray foam in order to buy the appropriate size kit. So board feet is actually a measurement of volume with one board foot equaling one square foot of material applied one inch thick. So in this example, I have a 10 by 20 house with eight foot tall walls. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is find the total perimeter of the outside walls that I want to insulate. So in this case, I have two 20 foot walls and two 10 foot walls, which gives me a 60 foot total perimeter. Then I take the total perimeter and I multiply it by the height of the walls, which is eight feet tall. And that gives me the total square footage, which is 480 square feet. Then I take the total square footage and I multiply it by how thick I want the foam to be, which in this case is one inch thick. And then I get the answer of 480 board feet. Now, if I want the foam to be applied thicker, say two inches thick, I just multiply that 480 square feet times two, and that's gonna give me the board feet that I'm gonna to need to cover this whole project with two inches of foam. So a few tips about using the Frothback spray foam kit. Use the fan tip 90% of the time. You're gonna get a lot more even coverage. The fan tip has the V-notch opening, and it's just so much easier to apply the foam with that tip. Also, be sure to heat your tanks up to 75 degrees before beginning to spray. What I did um, when I brought my tanks in, I actually placed them on a heat register and I turned the furnace on for a while and that quickly got the tanks up to the desired 75 degrees. When you're spraying, you're also gonna wanna wear the proper PPE, which includes a respirator with P100 cartridges and coveralls that cover the majority of your body because you really don't wanna get any of the spray foam on you uh, before it cures because it's really hard to get off. So when you're spraying and you're going along, you really wanna watch the color of the foam. And once you see a color change come through, that means that the tanks are possibly getting empty and the foam that you just sprayed on the wall is not gonna cure correctly. And if you do see a color change come through, that means that the foam is off ratio. 
If there's too much A compound, then the foam is going to cure and it's going to be crumbly to the touch. If there's too much B compound, the foam is going to have a spongy-like feel. Also, if there's too much B compound, the foam will never fully cure and it'll always have a certain smell to it. And if either of these conditions happen, it's good to just go in and remove the foam once it's set up a little bit and then spray right over the top of where you just went. If you want your foam to be thicker, it's also better to do multiple passes. So go one pass, one inch thick, and then come back and do another pass, one inch thick to get a total of two inches versus trying to do one pass that's two inch thick. So that's pretty much everything that I felt like was really important to know when using the froth pack. And uh, if you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.